Right, thank you to everybody for tuning in for my first ever plug-in review. Today we're going to be comparing two different brands of noise reduction software so that we can definitively say which one you should be using for your audio editing endeavors. Typically we use these types of plugins post-production to reduce background noise and increase the clarity of spoken content. Depending on the audio source, sound quality can differ greatly, so it's always good to have one of these noise reduction tools in your back pocket just in case. The VST that we're going to be testing today is called Clarity VX Pro from Waves. Waves has been present in the VST space for the last 30 years or so, but it's not until recently that they have presented us with a high performance noise reduction plugin. Sure, the NS1 is pretty good. It's pretty good. The WNS plugin is pretty decent as well. But when it comes to modern noise reduction, when you're competing with AIs, neither of those plugins have a reputation for delivering spectacular performance. In fact, they're more like gate plugins rather than noise reduction plugins. So today, we're gonna to be pitting two tech giants against each other. NVIDIA, the graphics card manufacturer, which with the broadcast plugin has been praised by streamers internet-wide for its ability to use AI to reduce background noise. Okay, the effect is enabling. Okay, right now, this is RTX voice enabled. I got a leaf blower, I got a vacuum cleaner, I got a Bornado fan and an air conditioner in the background. And Waves, the OGs, so to speak, of the VST plugin world. Which plugin will perform better? The only way we're gonna know is if we find out ourselves. To do this test, I'm gonna use a few different audio samples to denoise. For the first test, I'm going to take my phone and an external lavalier mic out into the neighborhood and I'm going to capture some audio of me walking around and talking about random stuff. Then I'll take off the external mic to emulate what most people's phones are going to sound like when they're recording. All right, so we're out in the neighborhood. I'm mic'd up. I'm going to see what kind of noise reduction we actually get from the waves clarity vx pro plugin so ideally this plugin would be able to take out noise it would be able to isolate my vocals in a way that is better than i already have and ideally it wouldn't reduce the quality of the vocals you know what i'm saying there's some plugins out there that will definitely reduce noise and all that but sometimes they harm the quality of the actual recording so they might be taking a lot of noise and wind out but they're also degrading the voice to the point where you can't even understand the the words you know what i'm saying so ideally this plugin is going to leave us with the best of both worlds now this is a completely blind test. I've never actually used this plugin before. So I don't know what's gonna happen. Ideally, the right plugin would be able to take out a whole bunch of different kinds of noises. So we have a car coming up. Let's see if the let's see if the software can take out that noise that just went by. That would be pretty impressive. Um, my guess is it's gonna dull the sound a little bit, but not completely take it out. But damn, look at that mountain. Okay, we're switched over to the iPhone mic now. Still got the clip on, but this is the straight iPhone mic. No, uh, no plug-in, no external um, microphone. Just what you get on the iPhone. So we're getting some road noise here. Let's see if the algorithm does better or worse with a lower quality mic. Okay, so after doing the testing, if there's one thing that's clear is that both of these plugins do a fantastic job. They both reduce noise in different environments with a slightly different flavor. Based on these results, if I could only take one going forward, I would probably choose the Waves Clarity VX Pro plugin, and I'll tell you why. Firstly, you don't need to have a specific graphics card in order to run the plugin. I actually had to do the testing for this video on my laptop because my current desktop doesn't run an NVIDIA RTX card. The Waves Clarity VX Pro plugin isn't dependent on your hardware. You can actually just run it wherever you want. 
I want to also make it clear that I'm reviewing this for audio editing purposes in post. There are things that NVIDIA Broadcast can do with live audio, especially when streaming audio through video games or Twitch or YouTube Live. NVIDIA Broadcast will actually work its magic before it even reaches the stream. So when it comes into your system, you get squeaky clean audio, which I think is fantastic. Now, when it comes to working in the box or in a digital audio workstation, I think that Waves has a bit of an advantage. Firstly, it's more versatile due to different tone shaping knobs and multiband features. Secondly, I found that the plugin was less picky running multiple instances. When I tried to run multiple instances of NVIDIA Broadcast, I sometimes had to reboot my DAW in order for the plugin to work correctly. And I actually never had to do that with any of the Waves plugins. And before all the comments start coming in about me being a Waves fanboy, I actually don't use that many Waves plugins. I do use a few like classic H delay, but I was just genuinely blown away by the Clarity VX Pro plugins. I definitely recommend you check them out next time you're in search of a noise reduction plugin. Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning into the video. If you enjoyed this review, you know what to do. Smash that like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future videos. Peace out.